Good afternoon, all. CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Thursday afternoon, March 23rd. We are looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ES and SPY. I'm um, going to try to keep this one quick. Got my little one, my granddaughter, over for the rest of the weekend. Uh, I'm not going to go over all my trades. I had a good day. Made 32 points on the day on both sides of the market, and that's without... That's without taking full advantage of this of this push down because I didn't think we would get what we did to the downside. We'll go over that in a minute. But even not capturing a lot a lot of that, I had a good day on both sides of the market and uh, wrapped up 32 points. Um, when as far as what happened today, it's still something that's a little confusing. L and M. Yes, they pushed down hard. I'm like, okay, a lot of times we don't get our directional move to Thursday after the Fed, after everybody digests everything, but maybe Larry and Mo from yesterday uh, set the tone. So what happens today? We open up and we drive straight up from the low 90s to 40, 40, or around there. Straight up. We go trend, actually. We take out everything. We take out Overnight high, price probe, where we spiked, half back, nine wide pocket, right up to M's high. And then if uh, it's on cue, they pull the plug. The sh now look, we know it's short covering momentum buying. Believe me, it's, it's a, we know that. However, when the market does that and it's as strong as it was, I mean, they had everything going for them. Value. I I'm sorry, no, take that back. Actually, they had value that went from lower to unchanged, so they did pull it up, but everything else was in the bull's corner. Overnight high, IB high, single prints, one-time framing, indices, uh, you, know, you name it, the opening, the buyers had it. Well, by the end of the day, they gave it all back, and we took out both sides of the IB, we took out both overnights, we failed on a trend day up, but we also failed on a trend day down. So what I'm saying is when we pulled back in F and G, to me that was healthy. I thought we would hold maybe the one set of single prints. But even if we didn't hold it, at least have an afternoon pullback and then go back to POC and widen that out POC. Even if we didn't make new highs on the day, that would have been what, what the quote-unquote normal circumstance would happen with the MGI that was in the bull's favor, even though it was only short covering. But lo and behold, that didn't happen. Not only didn't we get an afternoon pullback, we ripped lower and went trend down only to take that back. So two things. If we open in, tomorrow, uh, in the range tomorrow, you better have your hard hats on because we have nothing except the day's high and low, right? You had a five wide park. You could use a half back as your line in the sand because that kind of cut the day right in half where change tried to take place to the downside. But I think if we open inside of here, you're going to get whipsawed action back and forth through that. That's number one. Number two, did we really get a directional market now? Yeah, they pushed the lower late, only to take it all back, but then hold on a second. We went right back to doing what we were doing late yesterday. Now, I'm calling the daily down, but not with any real conviction. The monthly and weekly are still balance. So for my money's worth, even after the Fed and even after digesting for a day, the market still hasn't made up its mind what it wants to do. NQ goes out with an inside day. We had an inside day going. And I thought we were going to have one until we flushed out, obviously. NQ had a trend day up, failed, trend day down, failed, only to have an inside day. Now, righty was the worst acting of us. They are a trend day down. They held single prints in H and G. So they go out as a double distribution day down, and I think they finally took out their balance low on the daily. So they're down in the daily. We're down in the daily. So tomorrow we'll recap all of these um, indices, charts, and, uh, and whatnot. So uh, tomorrow, I think things are still undetermined here. As far as destinations... Upside is today's high of 399.29. The downside is today's low of 390.35. ES is today's low of 48.50. And today's high of up at 
So, and then let's look at the chart quickly. So here's the weekly. It's a three-week balance. It's a pretty ugly weekly candle right now, but it's, we still have time. And we came right back to that lower high trend line. Again, I'm going to say it until uh, you guys are sick of it. Because bulls are going to be in trouble if they don't stop this lower high syndrome again. That we're doing this year. And then on the daily, I am calling this down. Yes, we came back inside of yesterday's range. But we took out yesterday's low pretty good after an outside day down. Which, by the way, failed miserably early only to get paid later. So we took out uh, the day's low by almost two bucks. I'm calling it down. So for us to come back to balance, either have an inside day or take out today's high. That's how I'm looking at it. As of now, I'm calling it down. We did close above the 200-day moving average after being below it today. So two days in a row now, we've gone back and forth through almost all three of our moving averages. Thanks for the likes and subscribing to this YouTube channel. I hope you had a good day trading. Enjoy your evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.